battle lines in the war against violators of Fisheries Administration Order 195 of the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998, or those selling certain imported fish tagged as prohibited, have shifted and been redrawn from wet markets, groceries and supermarkets to fish ports and cold storage facilities. PTV correspondent Naomi Tiburcio tells us more. Raymar is back to selling pampano and pink salmon after the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources issued a moratorium on their ban on the sale of diverted fish in wet markets. Uh, good news mo yung para sa amin kasi pampano at saka salmon po yung number one na malakas naming tinda at saka marami kaming suki. Under the Fisheries Administrative Order 195, aside from institutional buyers like restaurants and hotels, the sale of imported fish like pink salmon and pampano is prohibited. Instead of conducting operations in wet markets, before said they will improve their monitoring in ports and cold storages. To prevent the entry of smuggled fish and the diversion of imported fish earlier declared for industrial use such as for canning and processing and ending up being sold in markets. All cold storages at least in the NCR and nearby areas will now be stationed with a quarantine officer from the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Ito ang mga tao natin na ito, sila ho yung titingin at magmonitor ng lahat ng withdrawals doon sa mga cold storages na yon at kung saan sila pumupunta. Before admitted that the order published back in 1999 is outdated and no longer reflects current market conditions. They plan to amend the order by the first quarter of 2023. When the regulation was issued, that was that time na ibang iba na ho sa sitwasyon ngayon. That's why it is our realization that indeed we need to review that regulation and we are pushing for that review. According to BIFAR, restrictions on the sale of imported fish were set to protect the local fishing industry. According to Senator Grace Poe, the fish ban is unfair for local fish retailers and ordinary consumers. She is hoping BIFAR will use the moratorium period to review the current policy while supporting the local fishing sector. Naomi Tiburcio, For The Nation.